Hey there, friends. This is Carrie Hamblin, the CEO and president of the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce, coming to you again with another one of our Zoom chats. They're super popular member benefits for members of the Green Chamber. And today I have with us Mike Gray, who is the co-owner of Simply Fresh. We've been playing email tag. Mike, it is so good to finally see your face and connect with you. How are you doing? Thank you. Doing well. It's finally great to get in contact with you as well. Absolutely. Well, open. Well, I know that you've been super busy. I've been watching your social media. Mm -hmm. You've been getting things out there. So I don't blame you at all. I'm, I'm, I'm just glad to get you. I know that you're sitting in your car right outside in front of the shop. And, yeah. uh, and so um, that makes me feel that like you're busy and you got to get away because there's just too much activity going on in there. <laughs> and so tell me, tell me about the beginnings of Simply Fresh. You started off as AIM Fit Meals beforehand, and now you've changed to Simply Fresh. Kind of tell me about that evolution. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so for me, I uh, started out in the fitness industry. Uh, I went to NMSU. I got my bachelor's in kinesiology for exercise science, and I would do powerlifting. I also did bodybuilding, and um, eating healthy was always such a hard thing for me I uh, could not find a single place where I could find something that would fit the diet that I needed um, I felt like such a pain if I would go to a restaurant I'm like hey can you hold that or can you do a little something different um, and whenever I would cook it would take me hours to prep to clean to cook it and uh, I would go through everything within a couple of days all my hard work for a few hours uh and thankfully uh my business partner chris baca he uh was already kind of doing something similar to what we do now uh that was with a company uh that was called btc fit meals mm. and with good old btc fit meals they were out of nutri shop uh, that used to be here in Las Cruces. I had an injury uh, from one of my um, lifts uh, at the gym. Uh, I tore my tendon uh, from my chest, so I was not able to move around or do anything. I kind of got um, really out of shape. <laughs> I started putting on a fair amount of pounds. I fell into that kind of sadness where cookies uplifted me <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and then one day I finally snapped out of it I said you know what I need to start doing better with my life because I was not very happy at the job I was or um, anything really because that um, exercise was taken away from me essentially uh, but I wanted to get back into it I went through rehab and uh, I was like all right it's time I went into Nutra shop. I saw good old Chris, uh, me and him were friends from a while back and kind of lost contact. And I said, wow, this is, this is an amazing idea. I need to start, start helping you out. I was on a medical leave of absence because of my injury. Oh, wow. So I told him, I said, Hey, I still have like another month or two on my, uh, leave of absence. So I, I don't want to be stuck at home. Let me help you out here. And he said, all right, yeah, let's go. Uh, because they were just at um, Nutra Shop, mm -hmm. and I said, "Well, let's let's deliver to people." And he had a restaurant at the time. Uh, it was called Don Felix. He was he was mm -hmm. there, and uh, we would cook out of there and uh, deliver and everything. And um, as sooner or later, uh, he had another business partner. Uh, his name was Frankie. And uh, Frankie got really busy. Unfortunately, he uh, had some things going on in his life. So he wasn't able to continue uh, with it. And he said, hey, if you guys want to uh, keep on going, uh, go right ahead. I just I can't be associated anymore. And uh, me and Chris had a few discussions, went back and forth. We said, all right, let's go. So we did Aim Fit Meals uh, in the beginning of 2019. And we would um, cook from restaurant to restaurant, uh, start delivering uh, just out of wherever we could. 
Uh, and it was in our own vehicles. It was just me and him. Then we slowly started picking up friends like, hey, can you help us out? <laughs> and uh, wow. we would start delivering more and more. And I was still at my job at the time. I finally went back and that was a full-time job. Uh, I was working with insurance, with claims. I was stuck behind a desk and it just was not the life for me. <laughs> uh, and the people ordering started to slowly pick up. And I told them, I said, hey, you know what? I, uh, I'm ready to go all in on this. Mm -hmm. And he, he was real nervous. He's had businesses before, uh, food trucks. And I have a son. And he's like, whoa, this is, this is a bit much. You know what I mean? Like you, you're risking uh, a decent job to pursue this. Like it, it's kind of crazy. And um, thankfully with that job, they give you all of your pay time off up front, oh. Oh. <laughs> which was great. So I said, you know what? I'm going to use all of my pay time off to prove to you that we could do this. Well, you know, Mike, that's like the, the, just the textbook entrepreneur taking the risks, understanding like, look, if we don't take those risks, it's not going to even happen. Yeah. And so, yeah. you know, and, and that's why I, I always commend folks who, especially what we call like solopreneurs, you know, folks who uh -huh. are starting off on their own, because if you don't have a whole lot of that backing and you don't have a lot of that capital and all of that stuff, it is scary, but oh, that's absolutely. why it's so amazing when you've got a place like Simply Fresh that has now got a storefront and, yeah. and that, you know, you're growing and thriving. And so that's just like a perfect story of, you know, what you're doing as a small business and, and hats off to you. That's great because it is scary. It is scary to do that. Yeah. Now, now during the pandemic though, that was, you know, like so many businesses were affected by the pandemic, you know, how, how did you get, your food and continue operating during the pandemic. And now as we're coming out of it, fingers crossed, um, you know, how, how is that? How are you seeing that with Simply Fresh? Uh, so uh, from us taking that leap, going all in on it, uh, we fi finished out 2019 doing great building relationships and um, come 2020, uh, right at January, there was a restaurant um, that was here before us, um, and they uh, they were leaving, and they said, hey, you know what, I, I don't want to be in the restaurant business anymore. I want to go and uh, do something else. Would you guys be interested in taking over the restaurant? And uh, we said, well, we would like the location, but we don't want to do uh, what you were doing so uh, we went a little back and forth on that, too. And thankfully, he's like, all right, go right ahead and um, put us in contact with the landlords. And uh, the landlords have been great with us so far. And we're going to purchase the location finally. Uh, but it was finally able to open mm -hmm. after we did everything and uh, fixed it up, up to code, ready to go by April of 2020. And that was right a month after the pandemic hit and uh, we had to literally beg <laughs> one of the uh, health inspectors to come out and give us the green light. Uh -huh. uh, thankfully that health inspector was like, all right, you know what? We're not doing any new businesses, but we're going to give you guys a chance. Uh, you guys fought really hard for it. It sounds like, uh, so we'll, I'll be right out there. <laughs> and he uh, came wow. by, approved us. Uh, all the people that started um, getting deliveries from us started coming over. Uh, we didn't have any money for advertisement or anything, but uh, thankfully, word of mouth was able to work for us. Our social media, I was on there all day, every day, answering questions, messaging people, hey, come by or whatever. Uh, I'm sure some people got annoyed with how many messages they got, but uh, slowly but surely, more and more people started coming. Uh, all of 2020 was great. 2021, uh, we went up 140% in the amount of people that were bringing in. Uh, the retention rate was 85%, I believe. Wow. And the amount of new customers each month uh, was a little over 30% of the sales. Um, and we've 
just really thrive to or strive to make sure that each time the people come in, they want to come right back. Yeah. And um, yeah, thankfully with the pandemic, uh, we were set up the way that uh, the governor wanted everybody else to be set up. We we're grab and go. Uh, we were delivery and n- nobody eats there at the restaurant. It's just real nice, easy, convenient. Uh, takes all of a couple minutes to grab the meals you want, check out, go, then heat it up and eat it. Well, and you're conveniently, you know, kind of like downtown around on 125 South Campo Street. Uh-huh. And so, um, and that's kind of by the federal building and, uh, you know, getting all of the, that foot traffic in there. Um, yeah, really a great, great opportunity. And so, you know, and I, I hear you, it's like, it takes so much to prep food that you know that you want to uh-huh. eat. And, yeah. and so it's, it, it's always nice to know of those places like yours, like Simply Fresh that are making the food that I may want to eat. My wife is vegetarian. She actually eats a lot better than I do. Um, and, but to have that there so that you do, do all the prep. And so, you know, as we finish things up, um, you know, tell us a little bit about your food because, you know, there, there's, there's folks, we have our takeout favorites and curbside pickup and all of that stuff, but yeah. you know, Tell me about your food as to why it's so fabulous. <laughs> well, our fabulous factor, I like mm-hmm. to say, mm-hmm. is we take normally unhealthy food and make it a lot healthier. So uh, one of our top sellers is a green chili chicken mac and cheese. And nobody would ever think a mac and cheese is going to be healthy for you. Uh, but we use some uh, great cheese uh, for you. And then the uh, protein pasta, some grilled chicken, the hatch green chili, uh, and then some broccoli with it. And then we also have low carb versions of each of these higher nutrient meals that we have. Um, Another thing that we're trying to really focus on is expand our um categories for each person so for your wife we'll have some vegetarian some vegan meals um there's now breakfast that was a large demand for people they're like well i need breakfast too so now we have some healthy breakfast for people which uh i was definitely struggling with prior to this business because for breakfast you're in a rush you got to go get to work and um a breakfast burrito definitely isn't going to make you feel good during the day so right uh, there's that um and we try to focus on everybody um there isn't just a set audience like um what what people used to think uh with our last name which was aim fit meals which people thought oh it's just gym culture Uh, That's not the case. Mm -hmm. We are trying to reach out to everyone. Uh, There's people that have diabetes that come in. There's people with heart problems. Uh, There's people that want to lose weight. There's people that want to gain muscle. Uh, There's kids that love our food, which is great to see because um, my son, he's a picky eater, but (laughs) he still eats the food, thankfully. Um, Older people, there's... uh, couple of blind clients that we have and they love it all they have to do is grab the meal put it in the microwave and they're able to eat it oh, yeah. um and just seeing the uh success stories from people uh that have had our meals is really what makes ours different yeah. than other people uh there's a lady that she lost 300 pounds uh, just from changing her diet to eating the meals. She was, uh, mm-hmm. she was a little over 500, I believe. And um, she wasn't able to move around. And wow. yeah. um, all she could do is just start eating. Uh, and we were able to start delivering uh, meals to her. And she, she would always show us the progress and everything. Oh, that was yeah. amazing to see. Yeah, what a, what a lovely honor to be along with uh-huh. her on that for you. Um, you know, and I love the fact that you've got such diverse, you know, I'm looking at your, at your menu while you're talking and I encourage you, if you're watching this, you need to check out that menu. Cause, uh, you know, the waffles with the berries, that's lovely. Oh yeah. Yes. That's like a nice, nice Absolutely. way of, of getting what you need to get <laughs> and getting some fruit in there too. And, 
And so, you know, Mike, um, we're excited because we're going to be planning as soon as we finish recording this, you and I are going to set a date for uh, ribbon cutting. So we want you, if you want to learn more about Simply Fresh, either go to their website right now and you'll see it either above or below, all depending on how you're looking at this, you'll be able to contact them. Or also you will be able to uh, check out the store when we do the ribbon cutting, which you'll see notices for. So Mike, it is such a pleasure to talk with you. I can't wait to, to like meet face to face. Uh, and that will be very soon. But thank you for what you're doing with Simply Fresh and just making it easy for people to have access to good, healthy food and kind of customizing it to what their needs are, which is, you know, hard to find in one solid Absolutely. place. So good job. Great way to go. You and Chris are just rocking it. Of course. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Well, if you'd like to do a Zoom chat with the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce, it's part of your benefits as a member of the Green Chamber. Contact me here. I'll be more than happy to schedule them because they're super fun. And it's a great way to get to know you and also uplift your business on our social media, on a, reaching an audience that you might not normally get. So, Mike, I will see you soon. And uh, uh, we will talk and, uh, and be able to celebrate. So it's great to see you. Yes, and take man. care. Thank right. you.